you guys in my last video I showed you this uh, great photo wallet that I created for a couple that is getting married the happily ever after photo wallet and I thought I uh, would show you the the end result of all the tags and cards that people wrote because in the end there were 15 people that wanted to give one present together and in this case the happy couple uh, preferred um, some money so we uh, gathered the money and uh, did 15 congratulations tags so let me show you that in a quick overview look how great that is i also printed a photo of the of the happy couple here very cute and then uh, there's all kinds of different tags so i created like 15 different tags and look at the abundance that you see here and each and every one of them is unique i also did some stamping here i used two different colors on one stamp and every card has its own congratulations so how cute is that and very personal what i also want to show you is the little envelope that i'm creating right now to put the money into and then this envelope will go right here and I've already cut it, uh, so let me talk you through what I did here. This is actually from the 6x4 inch paper pad of uh, Once Upon a Time, DCWV. So I kept it at 6x4 and then started scoring. And the first score is here, which is at 3 8 of an inch. You could do a quarter, but my tape is a quarter inch, so uh, that would well, I always like a little room here, a little wriggle room for my tape, so that's why I chose uh, for 3 eighths of an inch. Then the second score line here. Okay, I just got my scoring board out, so it's easier to show you. So the first score mark here is at 3 eighths of an inch. As you can see. Perhaps the easier way to do this, if you want to go really fast, is to do um, a half inch score line here uh, because the paper is actually six and a half inches wide and then if you scored it here at a, uh, a half inch then you would only have to score it at a three and a half inch to get exactly um, the, the middle of the rest of your uh, piece of paper i hope i'm making myself clear here so six and a half minus one half would leave you uh, two halves of three but mine is of course not half of an inch but a bit narrower it's three eighths of an inch so my score mark uh, could not be at three and a half so it actually had to be at three and i think seven sixteenth or something just do the easy part do do uh, a half of an inch uh, if you if your paper is six and a half Anyway, so these are the two uh, score marks here. Then you turn the paper around. And you score again. Well, if I were you, I would do a half of an inch. I, of course, did three eighths of an inch because of my quarter inch tape. Then what you do is do a second score mark. And what I did is I actually took a five euro bill and I took a measurement like so because it has to fit in the envelope and then I thought well let's do a score mark here so this is not an exact science I just eyeballed it to fit the money All right so then you would have uh, so these two score marks here and two score marks well here alongside the entire card and then you cut away these strips here like I have done so you're keeping the strips here and you're keeping this one then you cut the corners away and uh, taper them and here you leave them uh, straight what I do is I always put the tape first and then I taper because this will leave you a very clean fit here for the tape so first put the tape on, then taper your paper. 
Now the way I did this here, I don't have a die cut machine, so I always have to do this um, in, in an alternative way. And I use this thing here. I forget what it's called, but I will put it uh, in the text below. And then I just put it like this, uh, draw with my pencil and then uh, cut. So it's very easy actually. And then you use a circle punch and punch out not even half of a circle actually. I think this is one third, I just eyeballed it a bit because they will have to uh, have a way to get the money out, right? And then I use some distress ink here just to finish it here along all the edges here. So let's put this thing together. So first you will fold your strips and then you will burnish the fold. And I always burnish like this, so turn your uh, strip to the inside. I don't burnish like this because then the chances are that you will go crooked. Okay, so now we've burnished it and now we can remove the tape backing. Now I always have to think about will I do this one first and then this one over it and or do I do it like this? Well, I'm going to put something inside, so which will give me the best chance that it won't snag. And I'm guessing it would be this first and then this because you could use this as a guide. So you just slip the money in and then it follows along here. But there's no guarantee because this is a very narrow strip. So, uh, but you know, make a decision. Already closed, right? And then you close your card. Or your envelope, actually. Your piece of cardstock. And then you can just fold it closed and there's your cute little envelope. Look how cute that is. And look how perfect this paper is. Happily ever after in the four by six and a half inch. So let's take that five euro bill as an example again. Of course, we are giving more than five euro with 15 people, but just as, a, as an example, look how cute. And even if it's further inside, you can just do it like so. And then this half circle here really helps to get it out. Cute, huh? So let's take the card again, the photo wallet actually. Let's put it inside. Now the, the flap here, I don't have any magnets or any other form of closure, so the, the photo wallet will have to keep it closed. So I will put this in here like so, and then it's closed. So yeah, so I thought I'd share this with you uh, one more time because this time it's really complete. I, when I created this, I had no idea that there would be 15 people uh, that actually wanted to join me in, uh, in giving this as a present. So I'm very happy with that because this is a great gift for uh, the, the happy couple. There's 15 personalized tags with personalized messages, very, very endearing. And then of course this cute little money envelope that they can keep as a, as a keepsake even. And then there's the photo of course that I embellished with some stickles here alongside the edges. So yeah, I hope you feel inspired. Uh, so create your own larger photo wallets or gift wallet uh, if you are with a group of people and want to give one present or one card. So thanks for watching and see you next time.